Good evening, Noels. Welcome again to my channel, Second Matter, the solution to your math problems. This is WASI 2025, core mathematics for private candidates. To your request now, the scientists invested two robots for display in a competition. Now, the first robot picks a parcel from a point X on a bearing of 350 degrees to deliver at another point. Why? So let's represent the first information in the diagram. Remember, the first robot picks the parcel from the point X. So we have our point X. Yes, our geographical map. Now remember that the bearings angles are read in the geographical from the geographical map in the proper direction. So in the proper direction, we have to measure 350 degrees. So the first program is 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees. So 270 degrees plus what angle will give us 350? So that is 80 degrees. So 80 degrees. So here measures 80 degrees. Yes, so that is 80 degrees. Point one, and a distance from point X to point one was given at eight point five meters. So the distance is eight point five meters. Now, the second robot picks a parcel from the point X to point one on a bearing of three hundred and fifty degrees. So the second robot picks another parcel from the same point X, but this time on a bearing of seventy five degrees. To deliver at point C. Remember the distance from point X to point Z measures 5.6 meters. So you can also represent this information. So from point X, we have to measure 75 degrees. And 75 degrees. Well, that will be some of the here. Yeah. So we have 75 degrees to another point. So we get some geographical map. And this point is point Z. Remember the distance from point X to point Z. Measures 5.6 meters. So we are getting a shape of triangle. So to get a triangle, we need to join these two points. So now for the A part of the question, but to illustrate the information in the diagram. So that is what you have done here. Now B. So for B, the I. I see that we have to find the distance between the two robots at their points of delivery. So from point X, the first robot delivered to Point Y. So that is our first robot. And for the second robot, started at point X, we then delivered at point Z. So here we have our second 
we want. And then we have to find the distance between the two robots. So we are looking at this distance. So now, first of all, let's find the total measure of this thing. So this quadrant has a total measure of 20 degrees. This portion is just 10 degrees. So the remaining portion will be 10. Sorry, this portion is just 80 degrees. So the remaining portion will be 10 degrees. So the total measure of this angle is 85 degrees. So how do we, how do we calculate the distance between point Y and then point Z? Because this is not a right angle triangle, we need to apply the cosine. So from the cosine rule, What are the rule six? So the square root of this distance. So the square root of line y z is equal to the sum of the squares of other two sides. So starting from this side, eight point five squared plus 9.6 squared minus 2 multiplying the other size 8.5 5.6 both the angle facing line wide so that is this angle 85 degrees. So let's evaluate this on the calculator. 8.5 squared plus 5.6 squared minus 3 multiplying 8.5 multiplying 5.6 of 85 so to four decimal places 95.3128 we are looking for y z not y z squared so we need to take a square root on both sides Take the square root here, take the square root here. So the square root and the square will cancel out. Leaving y is equal to. Now the square root of 95 points, very one to two bits. We have nine points, seven, six, two, eight. Into two decimal places, nine point seven six meters. Therefore, the distance between the two roots is. 9.76 it is now the next step that is b i i b i i For B, I, I, we are also to find the bearing of Y from Z, the bearing of Y red from Z. So from Z, yeah, we will start from the 
geographical maps and move in the proper direction until we get to the line connecting Y and then C. So we we'll see that the bearing will be this quadrant plus this quadrant plus this angle plus the angle of this angle. So let me represent this angle as theta. So how then do we calculate the angle theta? We can also do that by referring from the sine rule. So from the sine rule, So which side is this angle theta? That is 8.5. So 8.5 divided by sine theta must be equal to, we also know another angle. We know the measure of this angle. That is 85. What is the length of line? Why is We need that, but let's use the four decimal places. The four does not place we have nine point seven six two eight also divided by the sign of the angle facing this length that is eighty five sine eighty five degrees. So at this point we can cross multiply and cross multiply. So 8.5 times 85. So 8.5 sine 85. This must be equal to 9.7628 sine theta. We are looking for theta. So what do we do? So we can divide both sides by the coefficient of sine theta, which is 9.7628, See that these two cancel out and that is 8.5 sine 85 divided by 9.7628. Okay, so if one is not equal to, we have 0 0.8678. This one will be equal to sine theta. So we have some theta as 0 0.867, right? We are looking for theta. So what do we do? We need to take the sine inverse of both sides. When you take the sine inverse here, we will have to be theta, then the sine inverse of 0 0.8673. So let's calculate the sine inverse of zero point eight six seven three. So theta is sixty point one four. Okay, so to two does not this is one five degrees. So now we should be able to calculate the bearing. So the bearing of um y from z so that is this quadrant 90 degrees plus this quadrant 90 degrees plus this quadrant what is the measure of this angle 
So we have alternating angles here. Alternating angles. When you look at alternating angles are equal. Now this angle must also be 75 degrees. So plus 75 degrees plus angle theta. Then theta to be had 60.15. So let's simplify. 90 plus 90 plus 75 plus 60 points. Maybe I'm getting 15 points. One five degrees. You can also correct it to the nearest hold down because all the bearings here will correct it to the nearest hold down. If the nearest hold down, we have 315 degrees. So, this was a very nice person and bearings. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please like, comment, and share the video. See you next time.